Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another hip-hop video for y'all today. Just wanna chat with y'all, and these, both of these are white rappers. Both of them is lyrical. Both of them is lyricists. The other one had passed away from an accidental drug overdose, but... They actually had did a song together. They actually collabed. And I feel that if this matchup was to ever go down in hip-hop, it'll definitely be one of the best battles of all time. The two lyricists that I'm going to discuss with y'all is Chris Webby versus Mac Miller. Who would win? Who would win in a battle between Chris Webby versus Mac Miller? Let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me. Engage with me. Drop me a comment in the comment section. Who do you feel would win in a battle? I'm going to give you my answer. This battle would be extremely debatable. This battle would be very debatable. This battle would definitely be a tight battle. It's another one of those battles that could go either way. But I feel if the battle was ever to go down, I feel that Chris Webby would probably barely win. I feel that Chris Webby would probably edge the victory. But again, it could go either way. Do I feel Mac Miller could win this battle? Yeah, I do. But, you know what I mean? I feel that Chris Webby would edge the victory. And you see, there's a difference between Chris Webby and Mac Miller like... Mac Miller, when he first started his career, he was, like, independent. He was on Rostrum with Wiz Khalifa. Like, yeah, like, when Mac Miller first started, he was he was pretty much, like, independent. And then later on in his career, he, he went mainstream. But you see, Chris Webby, Chris Webby has been independent for pretty much his whole entire career. I mean, the song that he did with Mac Miller, the song that he has Mac Miller featured on, on one of his mixtapes, I think it's called I Need a Dollar. The song that he got Mac Miller featured on, it's on one of his mixtapes. Like, Chris Webby, he's put out back-to-back mixtapes independently for years. I mean, I feel that one of the best mixtapes that Chris Webby has ever done, like, in the start of his career, like... This is before his Webster's Laboratory 2 mixtapes, mixtape, and before his There Goes the Neighborhood. But I feel, well, well, it probably was during his There Goes the Neighborhood, but I know, like, one of my favorite mixtapes by Chris Webby is his Best in the Burbs mixtape. And Mac Miller had a lot of mixtapes, too. Yeah, um, Best Day Ever, Macadelic. Um, yeah, kids kicking incredibly dope shit. Yeah, like, Mac Miller had a lot of mixtapes, too, and then he also... And then he also had his debut album, Blue Slide Park. But yeah, like, a battle between Chris Webby versus Mac Miller, this battle would definitely be a classic. This battle would definitely go down as one of the best battles in history. But yeah, my fellow Chris Webby fans, my fellow Mac Miller fans, who y'all got winning this battle? Who do you feel would win in, in a battle between Chris Webby versus Mac Miller? Again, let's have a discussion about this. Chat with me, engage with me, drop me a comment in the comment section. You know what I mean? Who do you feel would win in this battle? But yo, I, I, I got I got Chris Webby edging the victory. I, I feel that Chris Webby would barely win, but it's a battle that could go either way. I do feel that Mac Miller could beat Chris Webby. It'll definitely be close. But yo, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new track, I'm Gonna Win, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.